The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Hi, this is Ken Gidge, and this is the Art of Politics. Now, usually my partner is Bill O'Brien. Bill O'Brien is not here today. He will be here next week, but I have Carl Sardell, who does the People's View. Hi, Carl. Yeah. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? And uh, we, we sort of, one doesn't show up, someone doesn't show up, and it happens mm -hmm. occasionally. You, you do a I've show. I've that, yeah. And it does happen. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you go outside, try to grab someone to bring them on, and <laughs> but you were here waiting. So the highways and byways you went to and got me, huh? Yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> he was trying to get in his car, and I dragged him out and said, no, Bill, uh, Bill O'Brien's not going to be here. But uh, there's a lot of things that people don't, probably don't know about you. Because uh -huh. I, from a, uh, and I being a Democrat and you being on the dark side, uh -huh. the, the Republican, uh -huh. yeah. okay, uh, People don't know that you were the executive chair of the executive committee of Hillsborough County. Do they? Right. You have said that to people. I have said that to people. But do people know exactly what that is? No. <laughs> what that means is you have about 150 crazy people. And <laughs> You're right. Both Republicans and Democrats. <laughs> and you've got to hold them all down. And that's probably one of the toughest jobs there is in politics, besides being elected, you know, to, uh -huh. to run, you're from Ward 1, right. is that correct? That's the only correct. one I know has to go to Hollis to get to Nashua. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Is it true? You know, oh yes. Yeah. I found out that uh, they don't have anything. I don't have Nashua cable, I don't have Nashua gas, <laughs> but I have a nice house. Yeah, a brand new house, but you just got to go to... That's a typical a Republican, you know, let's go to Hollis to get to Nashville. Well, well anyway, uh, uh, but uh, I want to talk about this for a moment because I was uh, a Democrat and, mm -hmm. uh, and there was only, what, three or four of us? Yeah, there were, yes, there were three. Three? Yes. And how many Republicans? <laughs> I guess it was 19. 19 Republicans yeah. against three Democrats right, right. in Hillsborough County is... We're in Hillsborough County, right. and we take care of all the bills for yeah. Hillsborough County? Yep, the county jail, the county nursing home, and a few other uh, major operations, the sheriff's office. And every year, or every term, we change it, mm -hmm. correct? By That's, a gentleman's agreement, right. or a gentleman lady's agreement, whereby if you're a Republican now, the next one will be a Democrat. Right. And you had two years of probably historically the most difficult time of anyone. Imagine me being one of the three Democrats, Democrats getting beaten up and well, feeling sorry for you. <laughs> you know? Well, it was it was fun though. It was I learned the experience. I really didn't ex expect to get that until I got elected and found out that it was the turn for Chelmsford. You know, we had a rotation between Manchester, Chelmsford, and the rest of the uh, uh, part of the Hillsborough County. Uh, that it was Chelmsford's turn to be the chair of the executive yeah. committee. And that's all of a sudden I found out I was 
to the chair because nobody else wants the job. Nobody else. <laughs> yes, and you, you, people, if they don't know, you had the supermajority of right. 293 to 103, and I was, I was one of the 103. 103. You were 297 to 103. Of course, as you know, you know, it takes so many Republicans to beat up Democrats. You still were outnumbered. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Well, I shouldn't say that. All that talent there. Yes. Now, this is a we've we have we have talked with Bill O'Brien yeah. and many other people about what happens in poli politics, but Hillsborough County, being the executive chairman, is probably one of the most difficult jobs because you have to put up with both parties, and this is where you know the gloves go on. This is where it really, really gets hot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you, uh, we've had some interesting debates there, but I think generally, uh, for the most part, ninety-five percent of the time, we acted like decent people. <laughs> That's what he says. <laughs> no, no, no. If I remember correctly, and I was complaining about and complained very vigorously oh, about yeah. getting rid of those those four and a half social workers. Yes, you did. I was. That was that really hurt. Well, that was one of the five percent that uh, we had really disagreements on. And there were some uh, people that, uh, you know, one of the hardest things, I think, were to keep people uh, from talking all at once. Uh, we had, you know, several people that always, I guess everybody wanted to get their opinions heard. And uh, controlling that was, I think, uh, my toughest job. And being a majority or a Republican, mm -hmm. being in the majority, it doesn't make any difference. You you had to basically sort of referee not only the Democrats but the Republicans also. So this kind of puts you in a, a kind of an interesting light. It does. <laughs> so uh, I remember us talking and saying, you know, we all need some help up there. Well, we had, yeah, there were times when, uh, you know, uh, I wanted you guys along, you know, to, to help out some things that you like to do, but uh, there were a number of Republicans that felt the same way, but not a majority of the Republicans. So we had some coalitions there. I mean, we're a couple times, a couple votes that well, we came pretty close to getting what you wanted. We had pretty close to getting on some fights. Well. That's how, uh, you must admit that a couple of these things, and not mentioning anybody, yeah. as we both know, a couple of people who get uh, very volatile Mostly, yeah. There were a couple people there, uh, but uh, I think that uh, overall, it, it, you know, you have to be sure you have uh, firm control of, of people talking, because that's the one thing that really gets out of hand sometimes, as you've seen in the in the whole legislature. Oh, this is, uh, you know, this is going to be really fun. This is, it, year. is it next <laughs> Wednesday? Yeah, we, we will we we will be there. But I don't think people understand. What was our budget in Hillsborough County? Do you remember? Uh, about $88 million. $88 million. Oh. Mm -hmm. So the people who are watching this show are in Hillsborough County. Mm -hmm. And the county is quite big. Mm -hmm. And so we have so much money, and we take care of the jail, Manchester, I believe. Yes. Beautiful place, too. You've been through there. No, I haven't you been. You haven't been? I like this beautiful place. <laughs> No, I thought that was very well organized. Um, I haven't been to a jail before and uh, got a tour, and uh, I think they run a very good uh, ship there. And we had uh, you know, a person who had been there for 20 years running it, and then the person I replaced him was his chief uh, uh, you know, before he left. So, and I think they're still running a fairly decent operation. And the women's prison, I believe? Yeah, that's uh, at the main facility in Goffstown. So a lot of people don't understand that. When you elect us, we're, we're all committee members, mm -hmm. but some are in the executive committee, of which I had the wonderful experience of spending two years <laughs> there and when I was asked if I'd like to do it again. <laughs> As the only representative of Democrats in Chelmsford, right? That's right. Yeah. That's right. So you had to stand up for everybody. Boy, I'll, uh, yeah. And I... I don't. I don't think I'm shy. I, I, no, no, you're not shy at all. No, you made sure you got heard, and I made sure that everybody had an opportunity to be heard. That was one of the things I felt I had to do. I know we talk about uh, politics all the time, but I don't think this is something I certainly didn't know. The executive committees for Hillsborough County. Mm -hmm. I didn't know 
Now, you're supposed to have a lot of knowledge about politics. I didn't know that we were Hillsborough and we had a budget of 85 million, mm -hmm. approximately. And uh, we have always have a surplus, is this correct? Well, I don't know how always is, but my understanding was in the early 2000s, uh, they were starting to put money away. They had a good uh, income, maybe, maybe it was exceeding what they had anticipated, and they always put that away until the surplus mounted to close to $20 million at one time. But we were hit right in the middle, and by the time we were there, I think it was down to $14 million. And by the time we left, it, uh, we used that so that uh, we wouldn't have to increase the tax rate in the time of a recession. So we took anywhere from 2 to $3 million out of the surplus for the two years. That so it's still that. about 9 to 10? Well, I don't know what it is now because yeah. they've uh, had to, they pass a, an annual budget. And that whole process is something different than uh, what we uh, have at the state capitol. Uh, where the executive board has the heads of the committees for the different cost centers of the county government. And they hold their preliminary meetings and then we all get together and, and argue about how we balance the budget. We have an income, you know, and we try to balance that or take something out of uh, uh, surplus. It was down below uh, nine million when I left. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know whether they picked that. I think the last, uh, year they probably picked up a little bit excess in the uh, especially in the registry you know it houses. was it was hard to sit there okay mm -hmm. and have the social workers come in with some of the police officers oh, yeah. and judges and say look these people are really important because the social workers make sure that people get to where they're supposed to be mm -hmm. uh, get ch from children to to husbands, to wives out of the house. I mean, it's really, really important job. In fact, stopping people, they've, they've got people into the institutions that they thought were going to commit suicide. I mean, really important. The mental health area was really something that we were sensitive to. Right. And the mental health, I think we either the, we forgot or they forgot that the social workers were a big part of the mental health. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that was really, really tough. And they, they come in and they say, well, you know, we save a million and a half dollars. And our, what was the budget? 495000 or something? I don't remember that exact number, yeah. but that's probably... Well, let's just say half right. a million, yeah. Yeah. and uh, you, they save you a million. Yeah. But uh, everyone was yelling and screaming, you know, with a supermajority. And people were in mind of keeping that uh, number, uh, you know, not taking too much out of the... Uh, the surplus. We weren't balancing the budget. One objective was not to raise the tax rate, even though it was a low tax rate uh, from uh, year to year because of the recession. And that's, that was the main objective. And I think they maybe overlooked some things. Yes. And I think the mental health, uh, and you know, the interesting thing when I was fighting to try to keep them, I used it as helping people, but I, you know, mental, mm -hmm. mental health, but I really didn't underline that so much. Mm -hmm. But now, when you take a look at it, this is where we kind of drop the ball. Well, on the state level, too. Yeah. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. We were called for it, and mm -hmm. it's cost us some money, hasn't it? Well, I think now uh, people are, are able to understand where it has to be to be done. They're still balancing the budget, but they gave a little bit more of the mental health services, my understanding. Had to. Yeah. <clears throat> and I think it's working out well. It's keeping a lot of people out of jail that don't need uh, to be incarcerated. Absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, they're getting treatment. And it would be nice to get those social workers back. Uh, some of the stories, uh, of all the jobs to have to go into homes where there is crisis, yeah. You know, I, well, I think that part of the argument, too, was <clears throat> is this something that the county should do or is it something the state should do? And I don't think we ever resolved that. Uh, you know, uh, which is more effective? You know, uh, sometimes, uh, you know, they, there's a question of what the county should be responsible for. Now, I think they have a, a very good nursing home and they have a very good jail and I uh, believe the sheriff's department does a very good job. Other little areas, while important, is it 
something the county should be the prime res uh, person responsible for, or are they uh, should be they be working with the state? More from a very good Republican from you who said it so nicely, the fact of the matter is is that we dropped the ball, now we know, on mental health. Mm. And keeping the social workers probably would have been the best thing. Well, I wouldn't I, might go that far, but oh, I would okay. say. <laughs> I'd go that far. I, I know uh, Mr. O'Brien is not here today, who, who is off, who will be here next week. Yeah. Uh, he and I go at it over okay. this. Okay, over uh, Who's, uh, who's going to handle it best? Yes. I think one of the things that, uh, well, if you want to get into the, st the state part of it, too, is they have too many uh, units that they job out the responsibilities for. And so the, the, the idea of having it at the county level might be good because you might be able to keep a tighter rein on it and get, uh, see if you're getting uh, the results that you're paying for or not getting it. Uh, versus uh, the county who might, I mean, the, city, the state might be divvying it up with too many uh, nonprofit organizations and not being able to control them as well as they should. And I will once again say that sounds good, but I think over the last two years we have realized, you, using mental health as an example, let's say mm -hmm. the state didn't do as much but us uh, in Hillsborough County Executive Committee, and I was part of it, and I always take it upon myself as, look, it's my fault because I couldn't convince everybody. But I'm not sure if I could convince everybody with a stampede of buffalo. That was awful. Well, I, well again, I, I might disagree with the way you say it took effect. I think that the people themselves didn't do as good a job as they could have to convince that we keep them on. I, and I must take blame for that. I really must take blame for that because politics is, is, uh, is not just mm -hmm. taking it personal, but professional whereby you can convince other people. And uh, I wanted the entire five or four and a half, mm -hmm. I should have said two. Whatever you would have said, it would, would still require a good argument. And I don't yeah. think that the group uh, really sold itself as well as they could have sold, sold uh, themselves. Boy, is that true. Okay. But, uh, you know, it, it's a matter, you do that at the state, too. Yes. I mean, uh, I served on the Public Works Committee. And one year, we do in the capital budget, the community uh, colleges came in, did a terrible job of presenting what they wanted. The university came in and did a decent job. The university got like 80% of the money that we had for that. And the next year, or two years later, it was just the reverse. The community colleges and the new leadership came in with a five-year plan. That was perfect as far as we were concerned. The university came in with the plan, which was eh, the same thing as the two years ago. We just want another $30 million like we got last time. No, we Didn't gave all the, money, all the money to the community college. Yeah. Nothing to the, uh, this was on the capital expenses. Well, uh, I, was, I was there when Channel 11 came in yeah. to, you know, ask for and to, to keep the budget up. Mm -hmm. And I thought to myself, what in the world? They're coming in so not prepared. Yeah, isn't that something? That you should have got some representatives to sit down and, and, and either talk with you or bring them in as a group. Uh-huh. They were, it was so weak. Mm -hmm. And as you know, Mr. Valancourt, who was completely against that, mm -hmm. just overshadowed everything. And I, I have said to people at Channel 11, you know, you can't do that, ever do that again. No. You went up there and you were so bad at trying to keep what you had. Mm -hmm. And all they needed were people, probably like yourself, who, public TV, yeah. if you're for it, mm -hmm. or like myself, are other people who are really for it, mm -hmm. and uh, but they're not politicians. Well, you got to be a salesman in a bit. Well, if you have the interest in something, you got to want to sell it, and the politicians have to sell it. That's it. And, or you know, if you're against it, you have the same thing. And as you know, uh, the person you mentioned there has a lot of facts uh, that he can throw out at you, and you have to be able to counter those things. 
Well, we've been talking a little bit about, for those who have just turned in, it really about Hillsborough County and what takes place mm -hmm. there. And I don't think, uh, I didn't know when I got there. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure there are a lot of people who don't even know that there is a government within a government. Mm -hmm. But now we've moved, sort of moved on to, to uh, people coming in and looking and asking for money. What disappointments, uh, as you were not reelected, mm -hmm. you will run again, I take it? We'll see. Yeah, he will run again, <laughs> just, just in case he will run again. No decision till June. Oh. What are you doing? <laughs> don't, 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 don't look at me. Hey, look, I'm in a lot of trouble. Oh, you're yeah, in a lot of trouble. Oh, yeah. yes, yes. yes. I've, always, I've always run as if it would be my only term. You see? I see. Okay. It's catching up with me <laughs> after three terms. Uh, so you will be running. Uh, I, I'm sure of that. And uh, we disappointed when you... Uh... Oh, sure. I think it was a surprise. I think uh, there were a lot of people that uh, were surprised. 15% uh, of the people registered on the last day. <laughs> that surprised a whole bunch of people. I'll tell you what surprised me is, uh, and I'm a Democrat, mm -hmm. I'm surprised how much Obama popularity brought everyone along. His organization, as well as popularity. Wow, was he, that he was, something? he was better organized than we were. This is, but we're not talking about better organized. We're talking about the next level of organization. I mean, as they said that, uh, it, I think uh, it was uh, Bert, Representative Bert, mm -hmm. who was sitting there and said, "Well, you know, we used paper, you know, and they were using, you know, iPads." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Uh, but I was surprised. I, I, I think everybody was surprised. Now we're coming to sort of midterms. Yeah. Next year uh, will be election, and we're going to do it all again. Governor, and we have uh, a senator, mm -hmm. and we have two representatives. Well, our representative for this district. Representative, yeah. correct. And we have uh, senators as in state. So this is this is executive board. Executive board. I mean. Here we go again. Do you think we should be elected for more than two years? Because we, we have one clear year. We're starting the second year, and we haven't even got there yet. And we're already talking about how we're going to run it. It's hard, but uh, as I tried to do with the uh, election of the county commissioners, I had a bill in, uh, in 2010 where we would have one of the three commissioners elected for a four-year term, and that position would rotate, so that you always had at least one commissioner who had at least two years' experience uh, uh, in the next election. Uh, whereas uh, the, uh, uh, electing everybody, you wipe out the, all the experience you have for the three commissioners who are responsible for actually putting the budget together and, and monitoring the day-to-day -day operation. Uh, that was down because the several people said, our tradition is two-year election for everybody. If the governor has to do it every two years, everybody has to do it for two years. Which, the sad part of it is, there are a lot of people who are really good people who can't afford it. Yeah. It is, we're, as, as we've, talked about it, I'm sure you've talked, we're the only volunteer government in the United mm -hmm. States. Yeah, 100 bucks a year. Huh? People don't believe that in other states. I know, no, I, I know. Other states, I think uh, Representative Belanger, who's a Republican from uh -huh. Commerce, the committee that I'm on, yeah. had, was in the hospital in uh, uh, Boston. And when they found out he was a representative, he says, everything changed. Oh, he, yeah. Oh, oh, God, Representative Belanger. And he'd go... Excuse me, I'm from New Hampshire. <laughs> there really is a, it really doesn't. We know it's a pretty important position, but hey, I even had uh, you know you had get special license plates for us. Yes, which is uh, probably one of the few perks that you pay for. It. I know, <laughs> <laughs> and we had to pay for it. Yeah, but it tells you that you're a representative, and uh, I've had people going through uh, toll booths going to Canada. You know, and saying, what the heck kind of plate is that? Oh, you're a representative. Yes, sir. You know, as you say, you get, uh, you, they look at you like you're somebody special, real special. 
in here in New Hampshire, we don't feel that no, way. No, no, no. We certainly are treated that way. <laughs> and how I'm going to segue right into how representatives are treated, uh, without trying to mention the na a name, uh, a representative on Christmas Eve uh, was driving his vehicle and accidentally ran over two birds and um, front page of the Telegraph. Mm -hmm. Front page mm -hmm. of Union mm -hmm. Leader, front page of the Concord mm -hmm. Monitor. Then the Concord Monitor did a cartoon. Mm -hmm. Now I know our standards must be high, but running over two birds by accident, your opinion? Well, I think that it's. Uh that's the cross you'll bear. If we do something, even spitting on the sidewalk, we probably make the front page, just uh, because of our position. Uh, I, I think a, a lot of things are made, are blown up unnecessarily. Uh, well, and I think we, in this case. We have a police investigation. Are we going to call this, uh, I don't know, some. Uh, some kind of a title, does he give it a title or something, as you know, like they do for uh, some of the escapades in Washington? Well, they have Duck Dynasty, as yeah. you know. How about that? Uh, yeah, it just. <laughs> and it just happens that the Duck <laughs> the Dynasty time. people yeah. are, and uh, the two birds that were run over were ducks. Yeah. So, well, front yeah. page. You know, we, be, in front of my name is Honorable. Yeah. And we all, a lot of people find that comical when you first get it. But you're supposed to be honest. And he's supposed to be doing things decently. But that's the, that's the bad part of politics, the demonization. Uh, you can get demonized for little things. And you can get demonized for big things. But, uh, uh, you know, you, you can let it flow the way you treat every citizen. You know, if there's a problem, let the... Proper authorities handle it. Well, I think we should be held to a standard, and if you want to make it higher, that's fine with me. Mm -hmm. But to put this representative through Christmas to New Year's front pages for running over two birds, which was completely by accident, all right? You know who he is. He's an honorable individual. No, I've worked with him, yes. Correct. And for this to happen is just wrong. And I thought it was just the, the telegraph. But then I find out the union leader. And, and I'm not going to tell you who I talked to, but I, talk, I was interviewed by uh, another well, you reporter. you made it, too. Pardon me? You made the paper, too. How did I make In it? In the article. They referred to you in the conversation. Oh, you didn't read the whole article. No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. Which paper? Oh, the Telegraph. The Telegraph? Yeah. No, I... I it? Well, maybe it was the union leader. It, it, was, was, the one, it was the union leader. Yeah, whoever it was that followed up uh, yeah. had a couple of sentences that they quoted you on. Well, I hope it was good. Yeah, I That's think it like was. It. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. We're, we're going to do a half hour today, and we've okay. got about three more minutes. All right. It goes by quickly, doesn't, doesn't yeah, it? It does. I, mean, I like it. Huh? I like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But, uh, uh, you, you know, you're right about the, the papers. They, they also insinuate just a little bit, you know, the fact that he drove a BMW, the fact that he didn't stay around. You know, all those things infer other things that went wrong, could have gone wrong. No fact. Just no insinuation. Fact. No fact. No. That's, That's I, where I think they go yeah. wrong. I think both Republicans and Democrats and a great deal of the individual out there mm -hmm. who understand, all right, we should be to a higher degree. Mm -hmm. This, mm -hmm. because of the Duck Dynasty, mm -hmm. and he runs over two ducks, oh, yeah. you know, the Duck Dynasty, you know, that the, the, the most popular program of its type in the history of cable, <laughs> and then he runs over two ducks. <laughs> Uh, Timing think, is everything in politics, right? What? I didn't Timing know. is everything. Yeah, I, 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 I thought you said duck. All right, well, uh, Carl Sardell, I want to thank you very much. Thank you you for do the people, me. People's View. You're in Ward 1. Well, that's right. The only individual who must drive through Hollis to get, to, get to Nashua. 
Yeah, how about that? How about that? Uh, well, thank you very much. Thank you for inviting this me. This is Ken Gidge. This has been The Art of Politics. Next week, our friend uh, and co-host, Bill O'Brien, will be back. Uh, if you'd like to get in touch with me, go to Gidge World or go to Gidge 3D. I think you're going to be surprised. We're number one on the internet for 3D. So this has been Ken Gidge, and thank you very much. Proceeding program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters.